As long as I can remember, I've had issues breathing through my nose. Growing up as a kid, I didn't really think about it, but I know uh, my friends and family and whatever else would pick on me because I'd always be spitting, I'd always be breathing through my mouth, I snored even as a young kid. I historically have had poor sleep. I historically wake up throughout the night with a dry mouth and I wake up with a headache. I never feel fully rested. And I didn't know anything better or different because when I've talked to specialists other people, they just said, we well, don't have sleep apnea, therefore get over it. And then I met Dr. Kandula, and him and I got to talk, and he talked about one of the struggles with advent in your nose and throat is a lot of people don't come to him unless they think they have major issues, not just minor ones. And I didn't think of my mouth breathing as a major issue or even an issue. I just figured that's how I am. And he really wanted to point out to me that those are the people that need the most support because other doctors have dismissed them. They haven't considered uh, alternate solutions because they don't know how good it could be because it's not terrible. And then I got talking to somebody within our office that had a nasal procedure at Advent. And she told me she went from chronic nose issues, sinus issues, sleeping issues for years, had the nasal procedure and for six months had no issues. And I thought at that point, okay, if I don't at least look into it, I'd be foolish. And so I started going on this journey. I went in for an initial consultation and at the initial consultation, they told me the same thing that I, I've known all my life. I'm a mouth breather. It affects my sleep. It causes me to be tired in the morning. It causes me to be tired throughout the day. It causes me to have headaches when I wake up. All these things that I know to be true, I realized are chronic within my life, but they're not unique. It's something that a lot of people in this world face, but they don't know how to face it all the way. So with that information, we proceeded forward. I had the CAT scan. Um, we did a sleep study to better understand where I am at. And it was ultimately determined to have an in-office procedure. Simple procedure, about 20 minutes for them to go in and really just create more space within my nose by reducing the size of my turbinates uh, and opening up my uh, sinuses. And it was a really interesting procedure. I, I really laid back, cloth over my head. I was talking the whole time. I was making jokes. Uh, I could tell that they were doing stuff in there. I could feel a little pressure here and there, but for the most part, they were just in my nose. <laughs> and I, I, It was a real simple procedure. It was over before I knew it took a little uh, ibuprofen. I remember I really took it easy that night. I laid at home, I watched a movie. In comparison, I've had dental procedures that were 10 times worse. Getting your wisdom teeth taken out or just even a tooth extracted is so much worse in my mind. It hurts for days, you're on medication, you don't feel yourself. After this procedure, I was fine within 48 hours. My challenge to everybody out there, just hear me now, don't wait six months, don't wait 37 years. If you don't know, go in and ask, have someone tell you there's nothing they can do for you. Do that before you accept the fact that you're gonna have poor breathing the rest of your life. I, I made the tough choice to go in, figure out what was going on, and ultimately have a solution in place. This small sacrifice, giving up a couple days here and there, has been life altering. I'm playing better volleyball. I'm enjoying my life the way I wanna enjoy it. I breathe through my nose. I sleep through the night. I don't wake up with headaches. I have the energy that I should have as a 37 year old man. I'm not letting this excuse of a nose issue stop me from living the life I want to live. Today, life is just better.